Hi guys, it's actually Monday evening now. I'm sorry I haven't filmed so far today. I was just super tired when I woke up this morning and then Monday is my full day at work. So I just wasn't around today. Um, but I'm home from work now. It's actually 10 to six. So I've been home for about an hour and a half. But um, I thought I would show you some of the things that I got in the post while I was away this weekend. The first thing is this little parcel from the paper lobster and I will link Colette's shop down below but look at these <laughs> look at them I just I can't believe it they are planner stickers and she's made Archie and Winnie into stickers and Emma Bridgewater mugs <laughs> so I've got two sheets of those which is just so generous then I've got these little like happy mail stickers. I've got these gorgeous autumn ones. And then these like adulting stickers. So survive today, yay me, erase today, adulted today, heart today, today can bog off, this girl is on fire, feeling loved, today was marvellous, today was magic, meh. Yes, <laughs> I love them. The quality of them is beautiful. They feel amazing. She sent me this gorgeous card as well, which looks very much like her designs. Yeah, see, she's made this herself as well, which is just brilliant. Absolutely love it. So again, I will link her shop in the description below. She's just recently opened and I'm so impressed. The next thing I got is the little bullet book, Be Gorgeously Organised, and it's this gorgeous gold foil. Uh, the book is by David Sindon, and it's published by Bluebird Books for Life, which I think is an imprint of Pan Macmillan, um, who, funnily enough, I used to work for. Um, but this is a beautiful, basically like a ready-made bullet journal. I'm not going to share too much because I'm going to film a video on it, but basically you can see it has like this little monthly setup. It's just gorgeous. I can't wait to get stuck into it. It's really chunky. They also sent this little pink washi, which is cute. So thank you very much to Bluebird Books and to David. I also got my new design team package from Paper Maze, so I think I'm going to have a play around with that this evening, maybe do a Project Life spread or something, even though I have tons of things to do. Unfortunately, I got home too late to film any videos this evening really because the lighting is terrible and I have a studio light but I only have one and it just doesn't really work very well. While I'm having a little show and tell, I thought I could share with you um, what I got in TK Maxx the other day as well because I don't think I remembered to show you in last week's vlog. So I have um, A6 glittery notebooks which you can't really see because as I said the lighting is rubbish. There we go. A6 glittery notebooks. It's a pack of three and they have a little gold uh, clip too. It's like um, a really sort of gunmetal colour on the back one, a really yellow gold on the middle one and then this gold on the front. I actually only bought them for this uh, first one so I'll probably rack the other two. Then I found this Kiki K personal sized planner in TK Maxx for 19 99 Sorry you can hear Archie throwing his toys around in the background. Um, but yeah, I found this for 19 99 and I actually met um, a fellow planner addict while I was in there. Um, unfortunately, she did take the other planner that I was <laughs> intending to buy. I had it like right next to my hand because I'd already looked at it and um, decided I was going to buy it. Um, and then she just picked it up off the shelf next to me and um, took it. But I didn't have the heart to say that I was going to buy that one as well. So I just let her take it. Um, but yeah, so this is the one I picked up. I love the dividers. They've got cute patterned dividers. Most of the Kiki K planners don't have pattern dividers. They're really cute. And it has a nice notepad in the back. For 19 I couldn't say no because I've had my eye on this design since it went in the shop. I just think it's really cute. 
Then I picked up two cards. This one has a little chocolate dachshund on the front with a woolly hat on. So I'll probably give that to one of my friends who has a chocolate dachshund for Christmas. And then I picked up this one because it had a daxi and a little dog on it that looks a little bit like Archie. And I thought I would just keep that or cut it up and have these two. Even though that doesn't look like Winnie, but it's a daxi and a bandana, so I had to have it. And finally, I picked up a Kath Kidston Christmas organiser, which was in TK Maxx for £7.99. I loved the um, cover of it, and I've always wanted to try one of these. However, being totally honest... Oops, a daze, I'm knocking my vase over. Being totally honest, I probably will, like, take the pages out and trim them to fit into a planner, and just use them in a planner instead. But I just love that. How pretty is it? So pretty. Hi guys, it's Tuesday. As usual, I'll have to keep this super short because I'm running late, as always. But it's Tuesday. I have a half day today because I only work till 12 after my full day on a Monday. So um, I'm hoping to come home from work today and post out some more Etsy orders get some videos filmed I'm hoping to film my Manchester planner B like roundup and haul so that I can upload that tomorrow that would be really great um, but yeah I'm just waiting for my windscreen to defrost because I think I've said it before but my car has a leak in it so there's loads of water behind my seat and nobody can figure out how the water is getting so um, when the weather is really damp so like in the autumn winter um, all the water comes into the car and then overnight it forms condensation on the windscreen so in the mornings the screen's all wet on the inside and in the winter it freezes so I think I'm gonna get myself one of those like anti-freeze windscreen cover things and see if that helps at all because I cannot be dealing with defrost in my car on the inside and the outside every day in the winter but yeah I'm gonna get going Hello friends, it's Thursday. Um, I don't think I filmed anything yesterday and that is because Wednesdays are crazy for me now. So um, on a Wednesday I have work um, about, I leave at about eight o'clock and I get back at about half past 12 and um, then I have two and a half hours to go home, let the dogs out, chill, or to go and see my mum, or to post an Etsy order, or whatever, and then I drive to uni. So, <laughs> it's busy, and then once I'm at uni, I'm there from four until um, nine. So it's a lot. Yes, yeah, so I'm at uni from four until nine, um, but like I said, I leave the house between half two and three. So I'm out of the house. Oh, that was bumpy. Um, yeah, so I'm out of the house most of the day on um, a Wednesday. And it's just a lot, you know. And none of these people are going to let me through, even though it's my right of way. Hi guys, it's Friday and it is 20 past one, so I'm home from work, all done for the week, um, and my mum is coming over for tea, so I've just set up a little tea for two thing for us. Um, I'm not feeling very well, I've got tons of spots, they're just everywhere. Just haven't really been feeling myself this week, I don't feel great, and it's been like that for a couple of weeks, um, but yeah, I'll be fine. Here's my little setup. I've got my Halloween mug, little pink cornflower one for mum. My tray is a second, so it doesn't sit very well, but that's fine. I've got my teapot, milk jug. I really hope my mum's got her sweeteners with her because I have run out of sweeteners. <laughs> um, and I've got us some cakes and biscuits and crisps too. Do you know what though, I'm really annoyed because I was in my kitchen earlier on, I was um, cleaning the sides down and everything, and I saw the postman come to the door, and I was like, oh cool, 
posts arrived, you know. Um, next thing I know, I see them walking away and I went out to get the post and they'd left a card and they literally didn't knock at all. And yesterday my neighbour ended up with three of my parcels because I swear my postman just doesn't knock. And um, obviously I finish work at 12, so most of the time when the post arrives, I'm in. But they just don't knock, so now I've got to go and get this tomorrow. Hello everyone, we've had a lovely little day out today. I had plans to get up super early and go over to the woods with the dogs for some blog photos, but the weather is quite iffy here today. So instead, Will and I went um, to Costco and to HomeSense and we had a pub lunch. Then we went and did our food shop and now we're home and it's quarter past four. So I think I'm probably in for the day now. Um, I organised a group Dachshund walk for tomorrow morning. So the dogs will get a lovely long walk tomorrow and I'll try and get some photos during the walk. Um, but yes, yeah, so I thought I'd show you what I bought. So I got Winnie a new bed and I got Archie a new toy and I filmed that so I'll pop that in now. We've just got back from our little adventures today and I got the dogs a new bed. It's much bigger than it's showing up on camera, but they both really like it. Um, but Winnie has decided to sit on the old one, but that one's going to go in my car. And then this one will be in the living room. Do you like your old bed, Winnie? Winnie, what's this? What's this? Is it your new bed? Is that your new bed? Archie got a new toy and he really wants it already. <laughs> Archie? <gasps> Ooh. Nope, not scared of it. Nope. Is that good? <laughs> good <trip over> <laughs> So I didn't buy anything in Costco. Uh, we picked up some books, but the queue was just so long. Uh, but in TK Maxx, I got this pack of two wrapping papers. Uh, this one has polar bears on it, but obviously I bought it for the sausage dogs. Um, and then I got this one, which I just really liked the font and the holly leaves on. So yes, wrapping paper. I spotted this pack of mugs with I think they're long-haired Dachshunds on them. Um, couldn't leave them behind. <laughs> so I got those. I got two packs of Christmas Dachshund uh, tea towels. They're both packs of two. This one's like a green. And then this one has long-haired and short-haired ones on. They've got Christmas jumpers on and things. I don't have brown sausage dogs, but it's cute anyway. Probably my favourite things though are these Halloween mugs. As you can see there's a Dachshund one and it looks like Winnie. And then there's a Yorkie one. And I feel like the one in the middle looks a lot like Archie. Couldn't believe it when I saw there was a Yorkie one and a Dachshund one. And then in Tesco I saw that um, they had the new illustrated Harry Potter book for £10 and normally I pre-order them through Amazon but I forgot to do that this year so for a tenner I thought gotta have it so that will go on my shelf with the rest of my collection. I also thought I would show you that I got something in the post today and um, that's going to be featured in one of my Christmas gift guides over on the dog blog which is always in the description of these videos. I'm very kindly being sent lots of lovely things um, so that I can put together my Christmas gift guides. I'm doing one for humans, one for dogs, luxury, 
um, stocking fillers, all that sort of thing. And the first item has arrived, so I thought I would show it to you. So this is a felt portrait from Tranquil Transformations, and I will leave her link in the description below. Um, and as I said, we've been sent this to include in our Christmas gift guides, um, and it's one of Archie, so I'll show it to you. Just look at it. It is perfect. I honestly can't get over it. It is so beautiful. It looks exactly like you, Archie. <laughs> What I'll probably do is frame it and um, photograph it that way for the blog post. Oh my goodness, look at it. Also, my boyfriend bought me this dressing gown from Tesco. And I think it's the cutest thing I've ever had in my whole life. Hello everyone. So this morning I am off on a Dachshund walk that I have actually organised. This parking space is really tight. Jeez, how am I supposed to get out of here? I'm gonna have to like spin the whole way around. Oh my goodness. Right, so I'm off on a Dachshund walk that I organized very last minute. I organized it like yesterday or the day before or something. Um, and there's a couple of people going, so I'm excited to see everyone and their dogs. It's in a place of my, like part of the town that I've never been to before. So uh, somebody else suggested it. So I'm very excited, oh, Satnav's talking to me. So yeah, I'm very excited to go and check this place out and see what it's like. Because, um, yeah, the dogs have never been there before and it's always really nice for Winnie to see other Dachshunds. So yeah, excited. <laughs> 